Well, first you should regard some of these figures with a high level of scepticism because often they have to be revised and altered and changed. The big message from this is actually the global economy is growing around about the long-term average, which considering what's happened to the globe over the past few years isn't that bad. However, the impact you're seeing of falling commodity prices, including crude, is now having an impact on this. But that's a short-term impact because the other side of that is actually good for growth, but you won't be seeing that yet. The Greek election, I think, is fundamental. Not so much because you're going to see Greece thrown out, because you're not going to see Greece thrown out. Greece is not a financial problem, it's a political problem. So whoever actually wins this, and let's assume that actually the Syrizas probably do win or are part of the government, then they're going to be in a position where they're not actually wishing to abandon the euro, they wish to adjust it. This is a crucial moment for the ECB to try and reset the position with regard to the euro. We all know there are operational issues which are not being properly run to run a single currency yet, but put those on one side for the moment. Look at the Greek debt. There should be a realisation that it ain't going to be repaid back, but equally they can't be seen to accepting the fact that it's going to be written off. But in reality, it's going to be put into the deep freeze and such description of it will not include the words right and off it will be effectively put into a deep freeze and not dealt with again. Here is a moment, though, where you can actually then try and reset some of these economies and say budgetary control will actually sit with the ECB, local budgetary control can sit with the national. And here is an opportunity for the negotiation to actually try and actually put, therefore, the disciplines in place while still allowing the pride and local delivery of uh, budgetary control to be able to work effectively. That's what's got to be done. Whether it comes out of the election or not, which remains now in the hands of the voters. I'd be fascinated to see what Mario Draghi comes out when it comes to quantitative easing. I suspect we won't be hearing the words quantitative and easing. What you will be hearing, of course, is about how they can provide the banks, providing support to corporations and getting more money into the system. Now, they've already done a lot of work on the banking system, and that's showed some signs of improvement. They've done some work in terms of actually managing the debt, and that's encouraging. What we now have to do is get confidence going so people want to spend, want to borrow. And if that's the case, then we can see some improvement. So what we need to be able to see out of the, whatever it is, faux quantitative easing, is significant sums being pumped in to try and get uh, money starting to flow again. It's all very well providing the money. There is one word that runs an economy, confidence. And if it can engender confidence, it'll succeed. If it doesn't do that, then QE won't work.